Hello. <clears throat> Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Monday, October 24th, 2022. It is 1021 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today my anxiety levels are very high. I have a lot to do and when I have a lot to do. I tend to get nervous and frustrated very easily. Um, my paranoia doesn't seem to be that bad today. My delusions don't seem to be that bad today. My auditory hallucinations are at a minimum. Um, when I hear voices, I hear them as natural voices coming from outside my head into my ears. I hear it as clearly as I hear somebody actually talking to me, but the volume tends to change. Some days are worse than others. When I'm under a lot of stress, the auditory hallucinations get stronger, and usually so does the paranoia and delusions, the belief that people are following me, spying on me, plotting against me to hurt me, um, that kind of thing. Um, that's not to say I've never been physically attacked. I've been physically attacked, actually, quite a few times throughout my life, and that may be why I have uh, paranoia. Um, I got into a lot of fights when I was a kid. I got followed home from school and got beat up, both in elementary school and high school. So that probably contributes to my present day paranoia. Of course, there's also a possibility that mental illness runs in my family. My sister, my oldest sister, committed suicide in 1996. Um, I have a mental illness, and my mother was mentally ill and an alcoholic, and she died when I was eight years old. So me mental illness t tends to run in my family, and that's actually why I don't have any children. I didn't think it would be moral for me to have children, not only because I couldn't take care of them, because I can barely take care of myself, but also because I didn't want to pass on my mental illness, my hallucinations, my delusions, paranoia, and depression onto my kids. Um, I don't regret being alive, of course. I'm not suicidal. I'm not violent. But um, I didn't want to pass the suffering I had to go through because of mental illness onto my children. So I never even had one child. Um, my brothers and sisters, as far as I know, all had children, and some of their children have had children, so my family is very large. I had nine brothers and sisters who had children, and whose children had children, so they didn't need any children from me. I have plenty of nieces and nephews, and I have great nieces and nephews. The family is large enough, um... The family didn't need any more children from me. Um, it's certainly large enough as it is. Um, I have to go outside today and pick up my prescriptions at Walgreens. Um, that's always a good test on whether or not I'm paranoid. If I feel like somebody's following me to the bus or following me onto the bus or off the bus, that's a sign that my paranoia is kind of strong, which is still possible that that will happen because I haven't been outside today yet. And I also still have to do my physical therapy and walking exercises, which I do outside. Um, because my right knee still hurts from the surgery that I had on May 13th earlier this year. I had a torn meniscus and it was removed surgically, so my knee has to be used to now having the meniscus that was removed. Um, so there's still some stiffness and pain in my right knee. Nothing excruciating, just something that my knee has to get used to and so becomes less painful over time as I exercise it. Um, I don't have any opioid painkillers or anything like that. Um, those would not be helpful. Um, the best thing I could do for the pain in my right knee is to simply exercise it as I was instructed by the physical therapist 
and walk on it as I was instructed by the orthopedic surgeon who did the surgery on my knee. Um, the other physical pain in my body is pretty much under control. I think I have fibromyalgia. I am taking a medication specifically for pain throughout the body and Cymbalta, and Cymbalta is often used to treat fibromyalgia. So there's a possibility that all my physical body pain, muscle pain, joint pain, nerve pain, pain on my skin, feeling like my pain, my skin is on fire. That's all gone away since I've taken Cymbalta. And so I'm assuming that my pain is caused by fibromyalgia because Cymbalta is prescribed sometimes for fibromyalgia. It's been approved for the process of treating fibromyalgia. And so that's all for now.